Hey traders, Richard here from Ninja Traders, and here's how to set up your first Ninja Trader workspace. If this is the first time you're opening Ninja Trader 8, and you, for example, want to customize various charts on your on your uh, layout or on your workspace, as it's called, or you know that might suit a scalping strategy. Maybe you want to have a different layout or workspace for swing trading or whatever the case might be. Then here's how to do that. Here's to how to name that and as well save it so you can just quickly next time open it again and you'll have the exact layout according to your own preferences right so if this is the very first time you'll have your ninja trader dashboard here and all you really need to go and do is click on workspaces and you see i have multiple workspaces here already but if this is your first time you can go to this little button on the right hand corner here and click on new and then another window would open and then you just go and name your workspace let's say in this example i want to call this my scalping workspace and you just go ahead and click ok so nothing's going to pop up no charts just yet but if you go and click back on workspace here you'll see there's actually a green sort of little window here next to that um, new name that i just put in there into my workspace that basically means this workspace is open you can actually go and open multiple workspace so if you click on a different workspace i'm not going to do that right now that workspace will open and this workspace for example scalping workspace will still be in the background so you can have multiple workspaces open as well but ninja trader 8 will only show the one that you actually clicked on or which one's actually active at the moment all right so for example um let's say i'm happy with that name and i want to now build out my workspace maybe i have multiple screens or maybe i want to have a couple of charts on my one screen on my laptop desktop whatever the case might be and i'm just going to use an example here let's go click on chart let's go nasdaq uh, let's say i want to follow five minute strategy uh, with another chart maybe a one minute so two charts of the nasdaq open you can see i've already got sort of a default um, chart that opens here yours might look different but then you can go ahead change the background apply indicators whatever the case might be and uh, let's say for example here i want to have the bollinger bands on double click on it and hit ok and it applies the Bollinger Band. Again, now I'm just building out a workspace here that I would probably use to, let's say, sculpt the markets with. Now, let's say I want to have another chart. Let's say on the same market, the NASDAQ, but this time on a one minute time frame to sculpt. I'm going to leave that on default and hit OK. Now, let's say I'm happy with that. And one last thing I want to do is apply, let's say, an RSI. Again, just examples here of various indicators you might want to use. Yours might be different, might be a third party indicator, whatever the case might be. Hit OK. And now let's say that is the indicators with a chart layer, two different time frames, same market. And this is the signals you'll follow to, for example, sculpt the market. All right. Now that you're happy with that, all you can do is go back to the workspace and you can click uh, save there. And that workspace will be saved for the next time you open your charts again. All right. Uh, or that workspace, sorry, and exactly the same charts will open. Now, if you've done this on multiple uh, other monitors, they will all appear next time you open it again on those exact monitors, right? Now, what's really cool here as well is if I would, for example, close this workspace and hit close, it will ask me if I want to save it or not. Now, I did save it previously, but it's always just a good practice just to click yes, and then it will close the workspace. And then you can open another workspace, whatever the case might be. Or the other cool feature here is if you were to just go out of Ninja Trader by hitting the little X button on the top there, it'll first ask you if you want to save that current workspace that you're on and just go again, yes to all. Once you hit that, it'll be saved for next time. Um, if you leave that workspace open, um, just hit yes to all without closing it next time you switch and you trade it back on again that same workspace will open for you and that's how it's done very very easy very quick um, yeah fully customizable of course you can go nuts change your charts the way you want to backgrounds indicators time frames uh, different uh, bar types that you might want to use and that's how you basically go about naming it and saving it and um, yeah having it ready for next time you want to trade Thanks for watching and until next time, take care and goodbye.